Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Nobora Linux. It's currently the Nobora 41. I have it installed on my main workstation here. Uh, the only thing I've done other than updating the system and installing OBS to get the recording going, I want to go through some stuff here. Once this is in here, you can go to your first steps. You can have your update system, which I've already done. The Open Driver Manager, this mainly pertains to NVIDIA GPUs, but also you can do your microcode. So you can open this to do your microcode. You have your Nabora Tweak Tool, which I'll show you here in a bit. And then you have Install More Apps and Software. And then you have Install Web Apps. I would click on the recommended. You can do OBS here, Discord, but something I want to cover first is the optional steps. If you're running a AMD GPU, you really want to install DaVinci Resolve from the welcome app. This will actually, we're going to download DaVinci Resolve so I'm just going to go here and I'm actually going to go Studio, Linux, Download Only. I'm going to select the downloaded file. Click Open. It's going to run the DaVinci Resolve installer. I do have my DaVinci Resolve Studio USB key plugged into the back of my computer just shows how <laughs> long I've had DaVinci Resolve Studio, but you'll let this install. Okay, now once it's done installing, you will not get a progress bar. You just got to sit and wait because it you are selecting the zip file. You don't extract it first. Once it's done, it'll say DaVinci Resolve installed successfully. And once that's done, I actually want to show you something. This is the Nobara Wiki here, and they do show this here. But this is something that it mentions. Resolve doesn't support GPU encoding on AMD GPUs. However, it does support H.264 and H.265 decode support. So using what I just did, it should have installed Rockam Meta package that includes Rockam OpenCL and the OpenCL file system. This OpenCL file system thing here is something I could not find on my Arch install. So I only was able to get GPU decoding kind of sort of working under Arch, but there's a whole different video I'm going to do going over DaVinci Resolve inside of Nobora that are specific to AMD users. Look forward to that. So you can install Proton GE through this. I would recommend doing that. You've got your troubleshooting issues, community, contribute to Nobora. I do recommend, obviously, Discord. This is something I do need for uh, the community stuff. Uh, let me know if anybody does want me to set up a Discord server. I can certainly look in it. I'll probably reach out to one of the other YouTubers I watch to see what they've got going. But as you can see, the install process of software is not too bad. Once this is installed, though, I do want to show this uh, tool that is set up inside of Nobara. wonder, can I move this window? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. This is about done. I'd like to know, how, does anybody out there in my community utilize Nobora or even just straight Fedora for that matter. One thing I will say though, when you initially install it, 
it's going to want to do, it's going to auto check for updates. When that comes up, make sure it's, it's going to throw a message up on screen saying it detected that you don't have video codecs installed. Let it install those because Fedora out of the box does not come with proprietary video codecs. But this is something that even if you're on an AMD GPU, you can launch this. It's going to look at the drivers. As you can see, Rockham, Meta, and you have Mesa Vulcan drivers Git. I'm not going to install this right now because I'm recording the video. But this is something I will install because you do need that for gaming, obviously. But from there, I'm just going to close that. You can go... I just want to go into here. You can see in the utilities, you've got RPM installer. Welcome to Nabora, which is what we had up on the screen, actually. And if you go into system, you have this journal D browser. Because I do have KDE Plasma, or uh, it is KDE Plasma, but it is using the uh, ButterFS. But this is a tool that you really want to install or look at if you have an AMD GPU. This right here, this enable AMD GPU and power and clock, power and clock controls. This is going to enable a feature inside of the Grub Bootloader, which will allow your graphics card to switch its power profiles when you're gaming or using DaVinci Resolve for that matter. You know, and I can set up auto mounting drives. You can see I've got three drives that are NTFS. I'm actually kind of surprised. I see this here, this dev games. It's currently mounted. I bet if it was not mounted, it would probably auto mount. But that's the drive where all my games are set up. But so far, I do actually really like this uh, setup of uh, Nobora. I do want to do some testing with some games, but we'll test that here next. I'm not going to load standard. I'm going to load my OBS test. And as you can see, game works perfectly fine as you can see getting good recording in OBS but I'll go back in here and I'm going to go ahead and exit the game now and that's just recording using screen capture uh, you can do a, a OBS VK capture plugin which Nobora does install by default but I will show how I'm doing stuff in another video. But that is Steam. Gaming works totally fine. I can click the play button here and you can see the games I actually have installed. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I will be installing the uh, OpenMW instead of running the normal game, which, believe it or not, will work. Now, earlier in the video, I did show... Let's see... Let's go to Games Proton Plus. That was in the Welcome app. If you open it just on its own, everything shows up. So you get Proton GE. You just click this drop down arrow. You can download 9.23, which is the current one. It'll download it. I'm actually going to minimize that while it's doing that. But you got all this other stuff the Async, Proton TKG. Boxtron, Lux Torpedia. So you get a few things just launching this. It's showing Steam. If I go installed only. So what this is doing is it's actually putting Proton in the compatibilities folder for Steam to make it selectable inside of Steam. I recommend just using the default 
Proton that Steam has, which usually defaults to Proton Experimental. But if you're having issues like with in-game videos not playing, showing like color bars or something, or just not playing, try Proton GE or one of the other ones that are on here. So far, with Nobora, it is working very good for me. It's just as responsive as Arch Linux. Now, I do have DaVinci Resolve installed, so, you know, and it is the studio version. I will show in another video whether the GPU decoding is working, because I am actually recording this in H.264 at a very high bit rate at 4K, so, which stutters a little bit when I was under Arch, so I'm hoping I get more complete DaVinci Resolve decoding. Uh, you still can't decode AV1 yet. I'm hoping that DaVinci Resolve can get AV1 working. You have this update system here, but down here you have a Nobara package manager. I would use this to install applications. You can click the magnifying glass. I'm just going to search heroic. Okay, it doesn't show, but if you search for it under flat packs, the search bar switches to the bottom when you're under flat pack. And there it is. Okay. Some issues I've had with this is when I have the stable version selected, it'll install the beta version. And that's what happened when I was using uh, the uh, <laughs> Chrome flat pack to install Chrome. It did that. But again, with this, you would just select install. Okay, and it shows heroic games and it shows all the stuff that's required. Something I do want to see, you know, this is kind of my, just my experience video with Nobora getting it set up for what I do. So when this is installed, I'm going to go back in and see if it shows up in this Proton Plus or not. Okay, that is something I do want to see. Otherwise, inside of Heroic, you can install Proton G inside of it. It will download that stuff. The only issue is when you're using Flatpak, you can't use Mango HUD <laughs> inside of it. You have to use the Mango app is the only option you get. And this is something I've ran into where it seems like it's freezing. If you just wait, it'll actually finish. And I noticed this app. Okay, yep. Let's see. Okay, it actually installed the stable version. Okay. Chrome I just installed using a terminal. You know, Arch user here, you know. So I, when something don't work in a GUI, I just resort to doing it in a terminal and forcing it to do what I want it to do. But that's the beauty of Linux is something isn't working, you can make it work. So just for the heck of it, let's uh, go into games, go into Proton Plus. Okay, it does not show it. Let me see. Okay, that's just the about. Okay, we'll leave that for now. That'll be some stuff. If people have more knowledge of Nobora than me, let me know in the comments. Show me what I'm missing. But obviously, if I go into games, you know, Heroic Games Launcher will launch. Lately, I've been having issues with it signing in to Epic Games. But, you know, I know it's fixable, and that actually may just be my Arch install giving me a hard time as usual. So, but I'm going to close that. But thank you for taking a look at uh, Nobora 41 with me. 
look forward to the next video. I'm actually going to show some stuff. We're going to test to see how good the GPU decoding is in DaVinci Resolve under Nobora on the AMD GPU. Now that I know that there is GPU decoding, you just got to use H.264, H.265. But I'm also going to show how to install some other CPU-based encoders in it for the export, which is actually on the new Norbora wiki, which we'll take a look at in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.